As you know, I wonder why Gail Burston wasn't arrested. If you wonder who she was, you can read my blog, Story Checks Out, or she's the Natanya who darling who left behind the written records, the 1C conference records of the AIDS attack for the Talmud Society in Pittsburgh. She's the um, New Republic's pen pal of choice. Of course, we can pretend that that never happened, as Rania Kalik and Owen Jones do. Um, after all, it's a relatively recent idea to be adopted by the NAACP circus. That um, collusion in uh, anti-devil sex and genocide is grounds to demand reparations. That's new. So we can pretend that Gaza wasn't silent, that it wasn't the Beatles, that Russia wasn't silent, that they didn't all collude and implicate themselves, that Gail Burston wasn't an actress working for French Thorles in the United Nations. We can pretend. And we can, by pretending, engage in American politics. Hey, lucky us. So where does the Gaza genocide leave us in interpreting the truthfulness of Russia's claim to have invaded the Ukraine out of desperation. Well, <laughs> don't you know that America means well and live and let live as their philosophy? <laughs> the Russians had nothing to fear. <laughs> when news reporters come up against the remarkable Vlad Putin. It's like a class I attended at Princeton with Slanger and the Harkness Monster. It was a science of disharmonics class. And a conventional oratorio was singing, and a clarinet hit all the wrong notes. The news reporters are like Stravinsky's Science of Disharmonics. They don't ask anything except the wrong questions. And Remarkable Vlad stands there patiently answering them. And they bang on with these idiocies from kindergarten. And ask nothing substantial or reasonable. Shed no light. It's really a pain. Oh, the left gives them the obligatory kick themselves, whinging. Oh, he should not, no, 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 tisk, tisk, tisk protected the people of Donbass. Obviously putting the nuclear reactor at risk is an outrage. It's a sad story that this happened. And it glossed over the COVID situation. Moved us into a new dimension with respect to COVID. But we're not asking those questions. We're asking was Gaza in store for Russia? They didn't defend themselves. Oh, what 
an un-American, what an inane, what a, what a, what a weird question. We would never, ever do anything like that to the Russians. Never, ever. We have a good neighbor policy. The expansion of NATO was good neighbor policy. What Israel did to Gaza was in self-defense. Those little children might have bitten them. You think Captain Oliver North, I mean Captain Matthew Miller, the snarf, is going to bite Putin? You must be off your marbles. We wanted to control the authoritarians. Because we're a democracy like Israel. 